Today we talk about proper camp timing adjustment. So that's a Shrik timing plate. I did some modification with some spacer here to get it on the engine. I have some small bolts here to fix it later on this hub. It's, uh, it's a special hub for this engine because the, the pulley, this is already tightened up correctly. And I just fix this with these two bolts. And then I have this spanner here, 24 4 mil, and I can turn the engine. On this hub, I can mount the disc later and I can turn it. So that's important because at the first stage, we need to uh, determine the TDC. So when the piston is on the top. Um, we only have to make this kind of special thing, I would call it. I would call it special adjustments if we use other camshafts with uh, adjustable pulley on the top here. Yeah? Um, because if you don't have an adjustable pulley, you just make it as a, the OEM. You always make it on the, the teeth on, on, the, on the crank and the teeth on the top. And that's it. So this is very simple. You cannot do anything wrong. But this is race engine and we go for a race camshaft and all the other, st other things. Everything is adjustable and we want to make it perfectly to get the best power. And of course, reliability. In um, Formula One or in the Ready, when I, when I used to work in the Ready car, we had WRC. We used also this kind of plate, but it was much bigger. And we, have a laser, la we had a laser pointer. If the plate is bigger, of course, it's more accurate. But in the end, for this, what we want to do now here, this is more, more than enough um, what we need to do. And here is also a kind of steel plate, which I made. It's fixed with a bolt. And there we have the, the needle, basically, for the, for the reading. So first thing we want to do um, we want to determine, find out the correct TDC adjustment on the plate to the piston. And as you can see on my nice plate here, this is OTA, so in English you call this TDC top deck center. The piston is on the toppest position. And maybe you know, of course, the piston at this position is not moving at all. It stands complete still. So it's coming here, it's coming here very quick, 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 and then it's getting slower, 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 and then it st starts to moving at this point, still not moving, still not moving, and here it starts again to go down. Yeah? So this area basically here, is, it's, very, it's not very clear, this area, to be honest. We don't know, is TDC here or is it here, or is it here? So what I have learned, from my big boss, Mr. Dix, best regards, of course, from my side, to the father, the original father. Yeah. Um, we take an average value. For example, we go down with a piston by one millimeter here and by one millimeter here. We measure this value and then we take the average to reach this point. So it's a very clever and good idea and also very simple to make. And uh, we make this now. Uh, today we don't go to the diner now. <laughs> because normally I say we go to the diner now. We have the Urus on the diner now, but we will make a separate video for that. So I put the gauge, the magnetic gauge on top. I have the, the caliper gauge here and now I can turn the engine here. And now it doesn't matter if you turn right or left hand side. Normally it's forbidden to, to turn against the turning. But this is uh, forbidden if you have already the belt on, on the engine. Yeah? In this case, it doesn't matter because everything is solid. We don't have the head installed. You can turn left and right, whatever direction. It will not change the reading. Uh, so now we, I have to check which direction. Now we have to go in the other direction. So we go up. First we go to, to the TDC on the gauge. So you see, slowly, slowly, then it stops. And now it still can turn. And I'm turning, 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 and now it starts to move. So that's basically what I wanted to explain on the dashboard. I go back a bit like this. I think it's more or less at this position. So it's just a kind of guessing or a starting point. Now I can turn the, the plate. I will start at this point. It's TDC. The small bolt I will tie it a bit. Double check, yeah, we have the red point there. 
And now we do the one millimeter. Basically on this gauge, it's more than one millimeter. You can make two or three or five, whatever, just make the same on both sides to get an average value. So we go from zero to zero, one turn on the gauge, boom. And we have 35. And because we made the German video before, I know this is spot on. So it's a bad example, but we will have a look now. We are 35. Then we go in the other direction, so we go back to TTC and look at the gauge on the top. And again, one mil. Zack. So, not correctly, huh? not, not, not uh, very nearly there, I would say. We are now at 33. Yeah. Okay, what we do now? Now I lose the bolt again. So the disc, I can adjust the disc. I had 35 and now we have 33. So we try to get on 34. It's not much, just a little bit like this, 34. So we tighten it a little bit up, uh, just a bit, okay. Now it's 34. Usually it's more. Uh, in the German video we had 30 and I think 37. Yeah, and then we took the average. Of course you can look at the German video also and then you will see. Uh, now we have to go back to TDC. So we are back, TDC. Yeah, there we are back. And then again one turn on the gauge. And we are at 34. So for me this is perfect. Yeah, I will tighten. There is a second bolt. I tighten up the second bolt. Tighten again this bolt one more time. Then I will double check once again, and then the TDC in, um, uh, installation, not installation. This TDC setup is perfect and done. This next step we can we can fit the head, put the belt on, put the camshafts in, and start the adjusting of the of the cam timing itself. Um, last thing which I also would recommend, just uh, if you turn the engine, take a handle which is at least that long or even longer, because especially when you have the head installed later and you have uh, stronger valve springs, you need to turn a lot and it's more accurate to make it with a longer shaft. Okay? Uh, yeah, and that's, that's for the TDC installation and then, or the setup, and the next step is cam timing. Ciao!